Vibes Cuisine is brought to you by the best dress chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brawlers Group, and Lee Kum Ki, authentic Chinese sauces. It's time for the Caribbean cooking show with international flavor, Vibes Cuisine. Welcome to the Vibes Cuisine Kitchen. I'm your host, Michelle Jones, and on today's show, I'm using my best dressed deboned chicken breast to make a sweet and sour chicken with pineapple using my Lee Kum Ki sauces. Let's take a quick look at the recipe and we're gonna get started. Today's recipe stars our best dressed chicken breast conveniently deboned. We're going to flavor it with our Lee Kum Ki sauces for a favorite Chinese dish, sweet and sour chicken. Prepare to be amazed how quickly this one walk wonder comes together. Ready to get cooking? I have two pieces of deboned chicken breast that have been washed and cleaned. And I'm just gonna go ahead very quickly and just slice it quite thin. And I've always said that the thinner you slice your meat, the quicker it is to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice it really thin tonight so that we can see just how fast this meal is going to come together. I've decided today that I was going to show you just a very traditional Chinese dish, the sweet and sour chicken. Everybody loves sweet and sour chicken. And you're going to be amazed at how easy and quickly it comes together. What I'm also going to do for you guys today is I'm going to give you a quick recipe also on some easy stir fried vegetables. And I'm not even going to really go all out with my veg today. I'm just using what I had in my refrigerator. Now, because I'm going to be seasoning my chicken also with my Lee Kum Ki oyster sauce, I'm not going to pre-season it with any salt or pepper or garlic because all of those lovely flavors are already in my oyster sauce. The Best Dressed Chicken processes millions of pounds of meat each week at its state-of-the-art facility. From the chicken enters the plant right up to when it reaches your supermarket freezer, it's kept cool, maintaining freshness and flavor. My chicken is cut up, so now I'm going to go ahead and place it right into my wok. Let me turn this up a little, and I'm going to add to this, just to season it, three tablespoons of oyster sauce. This is going to give it a lovely salty oyster flavor. I don't really need to put anything else to flavor. Here we go. I have a yellow pepper here, and I'm just going to really rough chop it. Nice big chunks. I have a carrot. I'm just going to cut my carrot right on my diagonal. I'm also going to be putting carrot in my sweet and sour sauce. But I love the color and the sweetness of the carrots. And I have a Chinese eggplant. I'm just going to go ahead and cut up this eggplant. I'm just going to go ahead and slice these quickly. And the last thing I'm going to add is my snow peas. And I'm just going to cut the ends of these off and just probably just cut them once on the diagonal. Actually, I kind of like them when they're big, so I won't even bother to cut them up. To start my stir fry, I'm going to use some of my Lee Kum Ki garlic, and it comes convenient in a jar. After you open it, you put it in your fridge. Garlic always at your fingertips, love it. And I'm going to go ahead and just place a little bit right into my preheated wok. Then, let me just stir my chicken because it's bubbling a bit here. To my garlic, I'm just going to put in all of my veg here. I'm just going to add to it a little bit of this chicken bouillon powder, which is just a great all-purpose seasoning. And I will just add probably about a quarter of a teaspoon right into my stir-fried veg. And I'm just going to go ahead, toss this around, and as soon as my vegetables get soft, this is finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and complete my sweet and sour. I'm going to go ahead and cut my
carrot on the diagonal. And look how fancy my carrot is. You would think, oh my gosh, she's so cool, she's so fancy. But all I did was I took a paring knife and I, cor I scored it, and then it gives it this really cool flower effect when you cut it on the diagonal. I thought it was a pretty neat trick. And I'm gonna place that right into my chicken. I have a red pepper here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into strips. It doesn't need to be all the same size. You can just kind of cut it up however you like. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in. I'm also going to put in a green bell pepper. And again, I'm just cutting it up in long strips. Or if you want to dice it up small, you can. And the last veg that I'm going to put in is an onion. I'm just going to really quarter it. And then I'm going to place it in. We'll stir this up nicely. And you see all my great colors. Last two things to go in. I have some pineapple. You can use fresh pineapple. I'm actually using pineapple chunks that came out of a tin. It was just easier for me rather than sitting there and cutting up the pineapple. And I'm just gonna go and place just a few pieces in and I'm just gonna eat one just to see how it tastes. Mmm, mmm, nice and sweet. This is looking beautiful. Oh, and that pineapple is so good. And the last thing I'm going to do is add my sweet and sour sauce. Now this is a nine ounce bottle and my recipe calls for four ounces. So I know I'm just gonna pour in about half of the bottle and let that bubble up and then our dinner is complete. Gonna go right in. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the sweet and tangy sauce. About half of the bottle. Mmm, smells divine. Well, my sauce has heated through, so that's done, and my vegetables are just the way I like them. Very nice. Well, our meal is almost complete. I just need to show you our finished plate. I have my stir-fried veg with a little bit of white rice, which I love with Chinese food. And you saw how easy it was to put together this fantastic, authentic Chinese meal using our Lee Kum Kee sauces. Let me go ahead and scoop out some of my chicken. Oh, this is beautiful. Some of my veg and the chicken breast. Ooh, and of course we want some pineapple in there as well. Today's healthy eating tip reminds you to eat your fruits. Full of vitamins and fiber, several servings of fruits a day are a must. So don't be afraid to incorporate them into hot dishes like this pineapple in our sweet and sour chicken. Here we have our best dressed sweet and sour chicken with pineapple. Who brought the takeout? Family and friends will love this sweet and sour chicken that tastes just like the restaurant version. You don't have to tell them that Lee Kum Kee authentic Chinese sauces are your secret ingredient, or how easy it was to prepare this one walk wonder. Be sure to visit myspace.com slash vibescuisine to cook along with the program. Here's one last look at our recipe. For details, email us at recipes at vibescuisine.com or visit www.jamaicabrothersgroup.com. Housewares for Vibes Cuisine, courtesy of Asmart. Chances are, if you need it, Asmart has it. Wardrobe provided by Kerry, Man Woman Home. Fitness by Jim Connor. Thanks to all our associate sponsors. Vibes Cuisine was brought to you by the Best Dressed Chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brothers Group, and Lee Kum Kee, leader of authentic Chinese sauces.